Custard apple is a promising tree of commercial value. Grown mostly in dry tracts of India, the fruits are widely consumed in many parts of the country. Seediness and poor shelf life are the major drawbacks of this otherwise delightful fruit. To address these issues, Indian Institute of Horticultural Research, Bengaluru, initiated work on evolving superior custard apple varieties. Our Kasahan is an interspecific hybrid, released as a result of this prodigious research effort. Our Kasahan was developed by hybridizing island gem, belonging to a Timoya and mammoth, a custard apple type. Fruits of our Kasahan are remarkable for fewer seeds per fruit. That is only 9 seeds per 100 gram fruit weight, sweetness of over 32 degree bricks and slow ripening. It takes 5 to 7 days for ripening and have a better shelf of over 3 days thus makes it suitable for long distance transport and markets. Our Kasahan has longer shelf life owing to tough skin. Areoles or eyes of the fruit cannot be separated easily, hence, fruits can be cut and eaten. The pulp is snow white in color which is also juicy with a mild aroma. Our Kasahan is generally conceded to produce finest fruit, this variety is propagated mainly by grafting. The only problem with our Kasahan is that it should be manually pollinated with the pollen of local custard apples. In several plant species, pollination followed by fertilization is essential for fruit development. Fruit development will take place when pollination occurs either from the pollen of the same plant, as in self-pollination. Or from another related plant, as in cross-pollination. But poor pollination results in misshapen and undersized fruits which not only reduce the yield, but also affect the marketability of the fruits. The common constraint limiting commercial production of custard apple fruits is low flower to fruit ratio resulting from inadequate pollination and hand pollination is commonly practiced for improving the set. Neither self nor cross pollination takes place effectively. Though the plant produces large numbers of flowers, only few of them develop into fruit owing to some of these limitations. The flowers have both male and female structures, but they mature at different times, which hinders self pollination. Cross pollination by insects is inhibited due to non-attractive, less showy flowers having little or no nectar. Pollination by wind is hampered as pollen often occur in clumps. Natural pollination is limited by many incompletely formed sticky pollen. As in other custard apples, few flowers of our Kasahan, that is about 1-2% only develop into fruits, hence the potentiality will not be realized if relied only on natural pollination. To supplement this, a simple artificial hand pollination was worked out by testing different pollen sources. Hand pollination is a simple and fast technique that results not only in good fruit set but also produces big size, attractive and uniform shaped fruits with no loss in edible attributes. The fruit yield can also be significantly increased by artificial pollination. Fruits developed from hand pollination command a premium price in the market, Thus the rewards will more than compensate the effort and time expended for hand pollination. Our Kasahan trees start bearing fruits from the fourth year of planting, flowering takes place during April-May and fruits can be harvested during August to October in southern India and during September to November in the northern parts of the country. In order to reach maturity, the fruit will take 20 to 25 weeks in subtropical climates. Hand pollination should be effected during peak flowering period. Better results were obtained when hand pollination was effected in the morning hours from 6 am to 9 am. Number of flowers to be pollinated depends upon the age and vigor of the tree. Fully grown tree of our Kasahan can produce 50 to 55 kg fruits from the eighth year after planting. Upon hand pollination, Fruits of fine quality weighing 500 to 600 grams is not uncommon. Hence, in each tree about 150 flowers should be hand pollinated to achieve an expected yield of 25 tons per hectare. 
with good pollen compatibility and high proportion of fertile pollen grains pollen of common custard apple was found to be most suitable for hand pollination. For every 90 plants of Arcasahan, 10 plants of Balanega variety of custard apple plants or any other local seeth apple plants need to be planted in the orchard. Make sure both Balanegar and Arkasahan come to flowering at the same time by proper cultural operations like pruning and irrigation. Identifying the right stage of flower for effecting pollination is very important and it is easy. The female part of flowers mature first, just before petal separation. A few days later, the flower progresses into the male stage, when the anthers begin to shed their pollen. Pollination to be effected just during petal separation using the pollen from Balanega variety. The materials required for effecting hand pollination includes, a clean soft and dry paintbrush, number 2 or 3, an empty film canister or plastic cup. Required collect the pollen of Balanega variety of custard apple in a plastic cup or film canisters from the flowers that have opened the previous day. Place the cup or film canisters in the shirt pocket and dip a clean dry paintbrush, number 2 or 3, into the cup. Using the pollen coated brush, evenly smear the pollen on the stigma of Arcasahan flowers. The brush used for pollination should be soft and fine. If it is a coarse one, the hard brush may reduce fruit set and even those fruit which do set may have a poor appearance and quality, as a result of damage to the stigma. Hand pollination in Arcasahan is much easier than in many other fruit crops because of larger flowers and excellent fruit set. This simple operation is fast and non-tedious technique. One laborer can pollinate 150 to 200 flowers an hour. This simple and fast technique results not only in good fruit set of over 80% of the pollinated flowers developing into harvestable fruits, but also produces big attractive and symmetrical fruits with no loss in edible attributes. The shelf life of the fruit is unchanged. Hand pollination substantially boosts fruit yield per tree by increasing the fruit number and fruit size and also the principal yield components. Hence supplementary artificial pollination will be a commercially viable technology. For more information, contact the director, Indian Institute of Horticultural Research, Bengaluru.